All right, today we're going to make a simple pie chart in Microsoft Excel. Uh, you can see in column A, I have the department names, and in column K, I have the percents. So I'm going to highlight from A4 to A9. Then I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. I'm going to hold down the uh, control so I can highlight K4 through K9. By holding down the control key, notice how column K is highlighted and column A is highlighted, but nothing in the middle is. Uh, so if you want to highlight data that's not next to each other, you can always uh, use the control key to do so. Now from here, I'm just going to pick on insert. And then under insert, of course, we have our chart types, including a pie. Uh, in this video, I'm going to make a simple pie. And then in a couple of videos from now, I'll, I'll show you how to make these kind of pies as well. These are called uh, the bars of pie. So let's use this one. And just like that, we made a pie. Now in this case, we're going to um, we're going to add some titles and things. So I'm going to pick on layout. Now under layout, we would almost always want a chart title. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll pick on chart title and I'll pick on above chart. And sure enough, it does say chart title there, but you want you want that to say something better. So I'm going to type in 2013 budget. And when I hit the enter key, notice how the chart title has been updated. Now on a pie chart, we almost always want to have the numbers on the slices of the pie. So that's going to be called a data label. I'm going to pick on layout and then data label. And then I'm going to say outside end. And you can see now we have the numbers on the pie. Now with uh, a pie, sometimes we want to see the legend and sometimes we don't. So I can pick on uh, layout and then legend and then none. But I'll get rid of the legend and make the pie a little bit bigger. Now, let's say instead of the legend, I would like to have the titles of each department be around the slices. Here's what you do about that. You go back to data labels. You say more data label, uh, data label options. Now, notice how I can show the category name and the value and the percent or any combination thereof. So I'll pick on category name and the value. And I'll pick on close. And now we can see we have the department names and also the, uh, the percents. I'm going to move my, uh, I just moved it with the black cross because it was on top of the data. Now from here, I'm going to make the chart bigger by uh, grabbing the corner and getting the sizing handle, making it larger. And you can start to see how we have the department names and the percents. Now one more thing I will do about this pie Sometimes you want to focus in on one section. Let's say I want to focus in on the uh, warehouse. So I'm going to click on that. Uh, I'm going to click on the warehouse section and then click on it a second time. Then I can just simply drag that out and it separates itself from the pie. So that way I can focus in on that one section. Now by the way, if you wanted to make the pie itself a little bit larger, you move your mouse closer to the pie until your mouse says plot area, like that. When, when you have plot area, you're going to click there. And then notice how you can make this inner section larger. And when you do that, that makes the pie itself larger, as we can see. And really, that's some chart basics about making a pie chart. 